Hey guys, welcome back. This is episode two of the antenna building series where we make a multi-band dipole. I'm Jeremy, KJ7IAZ. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is KJ7IAZ. Hey guys, welcome back. This is episode two of the antenna building series where we expand upon our knowledge we learned in the first episode with a dipole and we turn it into a multi-band fan dipole. So come along with me and I'll show you what we're gonna do. Okay, so I have a picture up here I kinda just drew out a little bit. So this is our base piece here. This is what we're gonna use. Um, I've kinda pre-built that. If you wanna go up and watch the other video, uh, episode one shows kinda a little bit closer look on how that gets built. Did make a couple adjustments on it and then so what's going to happen is it's going to go to the strain relief and it's going to go to this long PVC pipe that I have that I'll build, feed through there, then over to one, and then over to the, if I zoom out on this, it'll go over and this is where it'll get tied off to um, the anchor and, and create support there. But so we're going to do 40, 20, 10, and 6. 40 will also resonate on 15 um, if we cut it to the right length and stuff too. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays into the fan dipole and if it makes any difference. So then these are gonna be the little 10 inch pieces. We're gonna space these out six inches each. Uh, according to my research, I found a couple different places that five is kind of the magic number. Um, and then sometimes they'll do different angles and stuff on them. But I'm just gonna space these out six inches to kind of um, get them away from each other a little bit and hopefully when you're, they, they won't detune each other as much. So that, that becomes an issue too when you're tuning this is that they will play against each other a little bit. So is what you want to do is you want to tune in the longest element first. So is what we'll do is we'll go in and tune 40 and we'll come back to tune 20, 10, 6. So that's kind of what it's going to look like when it's all said and done. These will probably hang a little straighter just because, you know, that's how gravity works. But uh, we'll have to play with this and adjust it a little bit, get it hung up, um, and uh, go from there. So it should be pretty fun. So what, first thing we need to do, we want a 40-meter 40 40 meter band. So we're going to come in here. Where do we want to cut this thing? If you remember from our last one, we've got a nice little calculator to help measure this thing out. So um, 40 meters on this project is going to be a little interesting because we're trying to get 15 also. So... On a dipole, the third harmonic will resonate also. So if you're at seven megahertz, 14 won't, and then 21 will. So if we measure this out to where we have about, at about 7.1, we'll be right here. And then 14.2 will not resonate, but 21.3 will. And if you come down here, 21.3 is about right here. So we should be able to get kind of the bottom of 40 and the top of 15. And um, this should be a wide enough bandwidth that uh, you know, anything that's a little bit off or whatnot will get picked up by the internal tuner on the radio. So not too worried about that. So let's see what we can make this work. So first of all, for 7.1, we'll come over here and we'll just put in 7.1 megahertz. So 34.6, we'll need two of those, 34.6. And then if we come up here, fourteen point two five, that puts us at seventeen point we'll just round it to two five. And then we want to do ten meters also. So ten meters is let's just do it right kind of in the middle of this. You're gonna be right around 28 and a half. That should get us really good and close. 28.5. And that'll give us 8.6. And then six meters is going to be an interesting one where we got to make a decision because it's a uh, four megahertz wide. Uh, the simplex frequency and stuff is down here. So what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll just do this at 51, and that should give us a good enough. So if we go to 51, it tells us we need 4.8, and now we just got to go cut some wire. 
All right, so the base part is already done. I've done that. We built this in part one. Um, if you'd like to go back and watch that, you can. Um, I've made a little bit of a different design on this, just kind of to fit what we're doing on this one, but I've got the connector here. And then on the back side, um, I've got it going to these little uh, terminal posts here that I built. So then all of our fans will attach to these individual pieces, screw down, and then they'll go through these holes here and that will give us our strain relief to go over. And then for the spacers, I've got a half inch PVC pipe. I've already cut these down um, to fit. I've got them set up and marked for spacing on six inches. So I'm gonna spread these out six inches. Then I've got these other little ones. Uh, I cut these at 10 inches, so there's a little bit of extra space on there. I'm not sure, once I get it up there, I might have to, to get some messenger lines or something running through these to hold them to make sure that they're staying out and they don't get pulled in by the weight. Um, so I gave them a little extra room on that. So we'll see how that turns out. So keep watching on that. Other than that, basically is where we're at at this point is we just need to cut our wires and um, start feeding them through here and getting the ends on them. And we'll go from there. So basically we're just gonna drill two holes in there so that we can kind of weave our antenna wire through there and then it should kind of keep it from sliding around and then we can always add a little tape to it and uh, and whatnot. All right, so, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some 14 gauge antenna wire for the 40 meter one because it's a little bit heavier duty or good heavy coating on it. It's gonna bear most of the weight of this whole system. So if it seems a little sketchy, I can just run a rope and then hang everything from that. So wheel off some of this. got our wires cut for our bands and now we need to put some ends on the end of them so what we're going to do is we'll put these little ring terminals on the end and then they will uh, nice and tight down here and we'll get these all wired up and then we'll get the strain relief set up and go from there I'll show you guys how I do this when I'm doing a bunch of them I got the I, I crimped the terminal on there and I just get my soldering iron kind of a stand and I can just kind of touch a little solder on there lay this on and it heats up pretty quick let it soak up a little solder and pull it off and uh, that'll get that done pretty quick and easy so when I'm doing a bunch of them like this it's kind of nice to kind of just set up for that all right so We've got a mess of wires here. We got our 40 or 20 or 10 and our six all over here. And we've got our ends put on the end of them. So now what we need to do is we need to get them hooked up to this 
and um, we'll basically have a big mess. So I'm gonna start with the lowest band, try to, try to keep it as clean as possible, and I uh, might end up cleaning off the desk and stuff too here. And then um, we'll put some nuts on the end of this, get these all here, and then the next step would be to start weaving them through our, our supports here. So we'll uh, end up doing that next. Hopefully you can see that. It's kind of the final touches. So I got them all the strain release down to all the little board to the binding posts that I made. And I just basically just need to get this thing tightened down. And then I think we're going to move it all outside and lay it out so we can start putting together our spreaders because it is getting a little unruly and I'll be able to spread this out on the ground and get any final adjustments and stuff kind of put together on it and then start building um, these out so I'll get some shots of that too for you all right so out here it's laid down and I kind of have everything just laid out and ready to start um, putting together and weaving those wires through So here's the first long one. I have all the wires through, so the spreader is working. All right, so this is what we've come up with. We've got this down to our spreaders, and then just kind of run out onto the end, all the way out. And uh, definitely helpful to put it out in the grass and then in the yard. But is what I've got at the end here is just little loop here and then once we trim this and tune it it will end up making it a little bit more permanent so all right so we got that up and it's coming across over here and spacers are working okay they're not perfect but I think that they will be good enough try to get a better shot here just kind of shows they're kind of tipping over but uh, they're they're working they're keeping the wires separate so and here I have a shot of the SWR graph. Uh, the very left hand side is the 7 megahertz band. It's a little lower, but the 15 is a little high, so I didn't want to move that much. And then 20 ended up being a little bit short the way I had it set up there, and I just didn't want to take the time to add a little bit of length to it, so I let it go there, and it tunes up just fine. So it worked out good. And I don't have a the 50 megahertz on the screen but that one actually tuned out really good too so I look forward to using this antenna on the air. All right guys there you have it. Um, simple enough a little bit more intense antenna build but fairly simple concepts just a matter of getting it done and kind of following through the steps. The um, next video I'm going to do is I'm going to try to do a multi-band dipole that is got traps in it so is what that's going to do is that will actually shorten the overall length so, so um, i'll look at maybe doing an 80 meter and maybe 60 and 40 and 20 or 30 and i'll put two or three bands into it and that will actually shorten that 80 meter down to where it's maybe potentially half length and it'll fit in that same exact spout so uh, that stay tuned make sure you're subscribed and so you guys can see that and uh, as always, make sure you do a comment. Let me know how what you think. Thanks guys, 73s.